Hi guys, um, today I just wanted to um, uh, take ourselves back to the beginning to actually start to understand why we actually get the results that we get in the all the ventures that we are doing uh, in our lives. So in order to develop this, I wanted to uh, actually just uh, develop this from the start just to understand how we actually form the, the um, beliefs and the core operating system in us which determines our results. Um, Bob Proctor actually talks about this in, in terms of our paradigms. So if you look back to the beginning, like how do we arrive here uh, on the planet to form what, uh, what we form? So if you take uh, um, this, the subconscious, for example, so let's take uh, us as being here. So you've got your uh, body here and this is uh, the mind, essentially your uh, subconscious. Yeah. So when we are, when we are um, young, when we are growing up, you know, we have this uh, external environment. Obviously, you know, we take our genetics from our parents and, you know, grandparents and the generation before, but within here, you know, aside to the uh, the genetics, you've got um, the environment here. So this this is the environment around us. Now the environment here that we grow up in, within that, it can, it gets to be made up because when we are born, essentially we are like an empty cup. Yeah, we don't have any consciousness at all. You know, kids don't have any consciousness between the ages of zero to about you know four to six or seven years old. Um, this is the period that you are actually your subconscious is actually open to be fed things into it. Yeah, so within that here. This is the period when whatever it is that, you know, your parents and your environment around you, all the thoughts that are happening within this period. You know, you've got thoughts, you've got all the images, the things that you see around you. And also, um, you know, all the things like the ideas that are happening, yeah? All these things get fed into here, the subconscious for a child. So in that period, they're like a sponge. They're just absorbing everything. So if a parent is teaching their kids, for example, you know, things like, you know, you go to the shop with the child and, uh, you know, the child is looking to take a, uh, maybe a sweet or something and you stop them because you say we don't have the money and all of those kind of things as they are repetitive or, you know, you have to, uh, you know, go to school, get a good job uh, in order to, you know, make your uh, way up the ladder. All these kind of thoughts and images, the things that kids are seeing, they're just absorbing into the subconscious um, as uh, uh, as kids, you know, as uh, you know, like a sponge. So, all these things eventually get to form their program. Yeah, this becomes their program for essentially, like uh, Bob Proctor calls them your paradigm yeah so the paradigm are actually formed by just a repetition of things that they are hearing you know you hear uh you know the, the kids try to touch something it's a no 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 or you can't get this because you don't have money or this is happening and all sorts all those images ideas and uh, thoughts that are happening are just programming the subconscious to form what will essentially be the habits and the subconscious mind and the program of the child and it is all through all this repetition yeah repetition of all the things that are here repetition 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 yeah and all these will develop into those habits and the program is set so up and about um uh, you know for between zero essentially to six seven years old these um, these paradigms, these habits are actually set in the, in, the, in, the, in the child, and they become their programs. Yeah. So uh, essentially, by the time that the kids start to develop their consciousness, the subconscious has already been programmed. So for us as as kids, you know, the, the beliefs and the things that we know to exist, the program, the operating system has been set uh, in us as a program. So that is quite a 
first key understanding that that is set by the environment that we live in. If you take a child, uh, you know, from any country and they grow up in a different country, even you separate them as twins, each one of them is going to develop a different operating system or program depending on the environment that they actually grow up, or grow up in aside to the genetics. You know, this is the nature versus nurture um, argument about how people are going to develop their habits. So this is just taking it back to the beginning to understand how everything develops, how we get set into the program, how our paradigms and our habits and our um, uh, everything that we believe in gets set into the subconscious from the beginning through our environment, the thoughts and the images and the ideas and everything that is being fed into us through the people and the environment around us. So that is, you know, happens at a, a very early age uh, between zero and, uh, you know, uh, to four to six, uh, seven years old. And that will actually determine the direction of where people go. That's why you find people believing in different things or people talking, uh, like I said, if you separate twins and send them into different countries, they will talk different languages because the environment is different. And that is what gets set into the program. So keep that up in mind here. Now, after that age of about uh, six to seven years old, you know, we start now to develop the conscious mind. So uh, the kids will start to develop the conscious mind. So if you then look at this as uh, a circle here, yeah, you will have a separation of this conscious mind and the subconscious. So this subconscious, this is that program that has been set from a, a, an early age. So this is essentially your, your um, the paradigm, uh, which is your program, yeah. It's been set from all these uh, young, year, young years. So, as we, we, we start to actually think with this uh, conscious mind here, yeah? In the conscious mind, this is where you actually get to choose because in here when this is programmed as a child, you actually don't get to choose what you feed in, it's just fed by the environment. But as we develop consciousness, we can actually start to choose, you know? So here we get to choose you know, all the ideas and the things that we can actually understand from people and what we can accept. So we're going to choose what we accept or reject. Yeah, we've got choice here. And uh, we can even uh, originate ideas. So ourselves, we can originate our own ideas depending on what we are seeing ar around us. Yeah. So in here, it's all the subconscious around us. So now you need to understand one of the key things to understand that in here in the subconscious, the subconscious cannot distinguish or differentiate what is real yeah, versus unreal. The subconscious doesn't have that concept as well or what's, uh, what's real uh, or what's, what's not. And Anything that is in here, it can't reject anyone. You know, whereby in the sub, in the consciousness here, you can choose to reject some ideas and the things that uh, uh, you know you want to, to take or accept. But in here, it's all programmed in you. Now, you will find that everything is energy around us. So in here, this actually, this is your mind, but it gets. Um, to be connected to your body here yeah and your body is vibration and it is these vibrations here that will actually determine uh, your results as well so it's your vibrations which essentially in the end determine your results you know, through action. So, what do we mean here? 
if for example you know you have been programmed here to understand that you have to uh, you know in, in order for people to live you know you have to get a good education you know work hard and that's how you earn your craft and uh, uh, go to school climb up the ladder and, and understand all of that and the environment around you all the people are operating in that sense that is how you're hardwired so everything that vibrations that results in here it will determine the actions that you will do so you will find yourself that you will you know get a good education you will get you find that job and that will determine your results now this uh, our paradigm here controls everything around you so it controls your effectiveness you know it will control uh, the logic you know how you think it will check how you utilize your time how you spend your money and the perception of situations how you feel and what you actually attract to you as well and most importantly it will also you know determine the amount of money that you actually earn that's how powerful the subconscious is because if you have that concept of uh, how much uh, you know maybe you know money is the root of all evil you can't afford certain things it will determine how much you will earn because there is no concept here to actually uh, push you to that next level because all your subconscious beliefs and understand the operating system has got the limits of that and that is exactly what determines your results how are these paradigms that are formed like we said through the repetition of things and repetition of uh, uh, information so and uh, you know which actually you know got into us from an early age uh, like, like we mentioned earlier so the paradigms and the program and the beliefs what has been programmed in you will determine your results because it determines how you feel and the actions that you take and that is the key driver of your results it's your core beliefs the paradigms in you so uh, with that in mind you will find that there will be brilliant people here who understand the concept that uh, you know you can make a, a, a lot of money if you if you say let's say you know the amount of money that you make in a year and you want to actually make that money uh, in a month yeah you can grasp and understand that concept but because your operating system yeah has got limits and limitations and limiting beliefs around that idea that is what is going to drive your results so you find people thinking and uh, you know understanding i actually want you know maybe to you know to earn more money or to be successful and all of that but because their subconscious is not programmed to that concept they never get to do the things that are required the actions that are required to achieve those results because this operating system this operating program this paradigm is not programmed to that what you're thinking so you can have brilliant people out there like doctors or engineers very intelligent people but they are not successful so let's say in monetary terms it's because their program and the subconscious is not related to the actions or the program of actual big sets of earning money the 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 people that's why only about you know between maybe four or five percent of the highly successful people here understand and have a, pro, a program or paradigm of creative world and that is how they get successful because that feeds into their body and the actions that they take and it ends up with the results that they achieve as well so that is the cycle so when you have this conflict of the conscious mind you're always thinking i want to be successful i want to do this but your subconscious your beliefs your paradigm is not congruent to your thoughts and this will always win the subconscious will always win because this is a hard-coded program so when there is a conflict between your conscious and the subconscious mind the subconscious mind will always win so you will always do the results that are in your program that's why you find people are always wondering why are they not successful why are not they uh, breaking through into success or you know getting those riches or money or whatever or creating worth that they need it is because your subconscious your paradigm your program is not congruent with that idea or that uh, origination of the idea or the choice that you are looking to make because always the subconscious will drive your actions and will drive your results so how can you then change your 
um, subconscious to actually get it into a program that is congruent to the results that you want to achieve. It's essentially simple because the same way that this program is recreated through repetition, 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 that's how you get to change your paradigm. That's how you change uh, your, your beliefs. So you have to bring in new beliefs you know, that will take you to the results that you want to achieve in order to change your paradigm. So when you change this, it also changes the actions that you take and it will change your results. So, um, you know, this repetition, change your paradigm will change your results. And uh, that, that's why you find a lot of success people, they have affirmations that they make. They are making affirmations on a daily basis, you know, because they want to feed in the subconscious. They want to feed the subconscious with new ideas, new thoughts, new beliefs, so that once they believe those, they set up a new program here to understand, for example, that in order to create wealth and make money, it's not about hard work and graft, but it's about, um, you know, maybe working smart as well as following, uh, using specialist knowledge, following specific ideas and specific plans that you have to follow. You know, once you teach yourself, you train yourself to, you know, repetitively uh, get that into your idea, your subconscious will pick that up and it will find a way and uh, you know through actions to actually deliver you that that result so it is uh, you know not essentially easy to to actually change your paradigm because they get formed over a long period of time but once you have got that awareness that this is what it takes why you're not achieving the results that you want to achieve even though you have the ideas it's because you're hard coded in a different way so you need to change this par uh, paradigm you need to change this operating system you need to change this program so the use of uh, affirmations for example you know people uh you, you can borrow maybe even other people's uh, affirmation just to get them into your system so for example you could have an affirmation that i'm so grateful and happy that money flows you know money comes to me in increasing quantities from multiple sources, you know, on a continuous basis. If you keep saying that to yourself again and again, you know, I'm so grateful and happy that money comes to me in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. Yeah. I'm so grateful and happy that money comes to me um, from uh, uh, on a continuous, uh, in increasing quantities on a, uh, from multiple sources on a continuous basis. The more you say that to yourself, the more that becomes a belief that that is happening to you and that you know over time over an extended period of time that gets said to be your program so once that program is there you know the subconscious will actually go out there and find the action that will actually deliver you that result in itself so people get bogged down in the understanding that they want uh, to, to to know the exact definitive process and way that they are going to get that but uh, the subconscious doesn't work that way. It's essentially like, uh, you know, fear and belief. It's all, um, you know, actions, you know, believing in something for which you have no specific scientific proof, yeah? So fear and uh, faith come from the same concept of something that you don't actually have scientific uh, proof on, but that will actually carry you into your your your, uh, your results. So affirmations are quite a powerful tool to actually help you change your paradigms as well so it is all in your operating system in the paradigms and the beliefs you know? so what it is what what are your core beliefs around you know money relationships or um, anything around the seven areas of life if you go deep and look into those beliefs you will find that those are the ones that are actually driving you your results if you have a, a a normal life of grafting, you know, it's uh, you know, you go to work and uh, you know, you go back, you live below your means, you, you, you know, you don't have any debt. That is your core belief. That is what has been instituted in you that you have to live you know, that way, and that you know will be reflected in your results. If you're someone who believes that you know you're grateful that money comes to you in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. You're grateful and happy that money comes to you in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. 
you are in that program so you're continuously saying that you're affirming that and it's building up your um program have a new program so now when you go out there that is what you look at so the the universe will deliver you those uh, opportunities you begin to identify them all the ways of multiple sources maybe you see someone uh, uh, maybe have an uh, a particular prob problem you creatively look at ways how you can solve those problems add value and help them and you find that that is actually giving you uh, money as well but if you're operating on a different zone you don't identify those programs because your operating system is not set up to identify those multiple streams of income in order to deliver you on a continuous basis those results yeah so it, it ends up to be a conflict of what you would like versus what's in your program to actually get you the results so that conflict can be solved by changing your paradigm changing your program and uh, um you know getting in order for you to get results and repetition and affirmation is the key way of doing that and remembering that your subconscious cannot distinguish between what is real and what's not real you just need to take that faith yeah take that faith you know reprogram yourself to believe that is whatever it is that you want to achieve in the future and to bring it forward as if it's already here and believe and have that faith that it is here and your subconscious will take you and deliver your loads into that. So I hope that's uh, been quite uh, interesting and relevant to understand how you're getting the results you're getting today and how, even most importantly, how you can actually get to change them by changing your um, paradigm through repetition. So I hope you go out there, experience, learn and grow. Until next time, cheerio.